Oh my god, I hate that. Oh. oh, all right, that was. What is going on, guys? Joey Suggs here. Welcome to today's video. I have nothing in my fridge. I have nothing in my pantry. What am I supposed to do? Supposed to do? I'm going to eat, drink, and consume, inhale, fuel only for 24 hours. <sighs> I don't know if this is a great idea, a bad idea, a terrible idea, or just an idea, but I'm doing it. It is 7.03 in the morning and just got back from my 5 a.m. workout. Did I show you my 5 a.m. workout? No, because I just couldn't be bothered to film one, but I am gonna do a morning routine. So if you guys are not subscribed to the channel, sub to the channel, put your bell on, that way you'll get notified whenever I post that video. In the meantime, this is going to be my post-gym protein shake this morning. And it does not say that it's a protein shake. It says that it is a ready to drink complete meal. But either way, I've never tried this before, so I am kind of excited to try it out. Gotta spit out the gum. If you're not chewing gum during your workout, you're not really working out. Proven fact, chewing gum burns 500 to 10,000 more calories per workout. If you're not doing it, get on it now. Let's try out the Huel Vanilla pre-made ready to drink complete meal. It smells like a vanilla protein shake. Mm. Okay, she's thick. She is for sure thick. Flavor is actually pretty solid though. 20 grams of protein, not bad. 37 grams of carbs, wow. 19 grams of fat, that's also a lot. And 400 calories. I'm gonna be honest, it's not the best vanilla protein shake I've ever had, but it's also not terrible. Typically, whenever I come home from the gym, I just have two scoops of protein with water. So it's like 60 grams of protein with water, inhale it down, and it hits my veins, my muscle fibers so quickly. This is a little different than that, but I don't think it's gonna be bad. So I've seen like one of these videos before. It was a girl and she pretty much said that she just was shitting her pants all day. So so I guess that's I guess that's what's in store for me today. Uh, if you guys are excited to see uh, an in my bathroom vlog today, I guess press a thumbs up button for me. Um, actually, do press the thumbs up button though because it will help the video get out to more people. It'll help my channel grow. So I would appreciate a thumbs up whether I'm shooting my pants today or not. Also, another reason why I'm doing this video is because I ordered the Huel Hot and Savory to try those out. If you haven't checked out that video, it's actually doing really well on the channel. It's going to be linked up here if you guys want to go check it out. Give it a watch. I try it out with a, a couple different meals and some other meats and stuff. Very great video but they also sent me two of these for free. They sent me a vanilla and a chocolate. So I figured why not just set up a full day of eating only Huel products. Will I regret it? Probably. And we're done. There it is. All right, I'm gonna uh, put the macros up on the screen right now. One thing I was curious to see when doing this is what the macros are gonna be like throughout the whole entire day. Because each one of their products pretty much has 400 calories and like, pretty good macros all together. So I'm curious to see how it, how it looks when you put them all in one day. All right, so as we are sitting right now, we have 400 calories and 37 grams of carbs, 19 grams of fat, 20 grams of protein, and that is going to be our breakfast this morning. So I'm gonna get ready for work, go to work like a good boy, get some stuff done, and I will see you guys whenever I have my, shit, whenever I have my first Huel meal. All right, so I know it's been maybe three or four seconds since you've seen me last, but it's been, uh, I don't know, what's seven, like nine hours, 10 hours, 12 hours. I don't really know how long it's been. It's now almost three o'clock. It's like 2.40. I'm starving. If you don't know, typically watch the channel, I typically do not eat until around afternoon, and um, it is definitely time for me to eat. So, for lunch, for my Huel lunch, let me show you what I'm having. This is it. This is Huel's complete meals. Um, this is their hot and savory, they're like a rice and quinoa blend meals, and they're actually pretty solid. All you have to do is put two scoops of the mixture. It's like a powdery mixture with some like rice and quinoa stuff in there. Two scoops of that, you add water, 
you microwave for about two minutes, 30 seconds, stir, and that's it. Like literally that's it. It's extremely simple to do. Now, I don't know if this is cheating on my 24 hours, but I'm doing it anyways because I'm that type of guy. I gotta have some protein, gotta have some extra protein. So I put, I think 168 grams of mahi on there. And this is our final product. Looks pretty good in my opinion. So plan now is to eat this, which is I guess always the plan whenever you're having a meal. Um, and I'm going to let you know how it tastes. Spoiler, obviously I've had this before, it tastes pretty good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's actually quite delicious. Pretty voluminous as well. I'm curious to see how filling this is really gonna be because I probably won't be eating until 6.30 tonight, seven maybe. So this has got to last me a while. All right, before I dive in, quickly want to look at the macros for the day. So after I put in the Huel Complete Meal, which is very simple to do actually, put in the Mahi, we are sitting at a total of 983 calories. That's actually pretty low for me at this time of the day. And 89 grams of carbs, 33 grams of fat, and 83 grams of protein. So actually very, very good and balanced macros for right now. As far as annihilating the bathroom, I've only gone once today, so that's pretty good and average for your boy. I'm happy with that. No weird stomach problems yet. Probably after this meal, I will be. But I'm gonna go ahead, enjoy the meal, get some more work done, and finish out the day strong. Fuel strong. Hello. Hello. Oh man. Okay. We are home. Oh, hey, Nat. <laughs> Welcome. Welcome to the video. <laughs> All right. We are home. Work was challenging, but good and productive. I am feeling slightly bloated. Um, asshole still a okay. I'm starving though. I'm not starving, like starving, starving, but I'm pretty freaking hungry. Um, it's about, what time is it? 5.45, so approaching 6 o'clock. I don't really know what I'm going to do. Well, I know what I'm going to do for dinner. I'm going to have Huel, but I don't know exactly what I'm going to put on it yet, so i got to search in the fridge, see what I got. Overall, I'm tired. I'm hungry. Let's get some food. Ooh, okay, that took probably eight years and that's why it is now, I guess like 40 minutes later, it's 6.40. And I have a delicious, delicious meal in front of me. Look at this thing right here. So I have the Huel, this is the tomato and herb flavored. Two servings of that with two of these lean pork chops. Honestly, I personally never eat pork chops, but it was buy one, get one free at Publix. Your boy is broke, so here we are. Uh, I am going to be trying also Baby Ray's, Sweet Baby Ray's makes no sugar added barbecue sauce now. So I'm gonna be giving a taste test on this. Obviously, if you know the channel, you know G Hughes is near and dear to my heart, but I can't pass, pass up a new opportunity to try something different. So giving this a shot, eating this, which looks really incredible to be completely honest with you. Excited about it. The Huel I know looks kind of gross. It's like a mush, but I honestly do think that it tastes a lot better than it looks. And of course, I have to watch Netflix while I eat because you can't see, but I am alone, sad, lonely. Should have had a glass of wine to go with it, but here we are. All right, quick break to say, one, this meal is incredible so far. Two, the pork chops don't even need barbecue sauce. They taste so good. And three, 
The barbecue sauce by Ray's, Free Baby Ray's, no sugar added, is actually really, really good. A little more watery than I would want. And it also has five more calories per serving than G Hughes, but it's still a great option. So if you have this one, I would say pick it up, try it out. Let me know what you think in the comments down below if you try it out. Back to the amazing meal. Oh my God, that was delicious. Like, mm, probably one of the best meals I've had this week. Given it's Wednesday, I've had half of my meals. Actually, over half, you know, across that hump day border. That was amazing. What I ended up doing was like putting a little bit of pork chop and then putting some of the huel on top of it and then dipping it in the barbecue. Oh man, I, I'm gonna have to have that like at least once a week. Plan for right now, I'm gonna relax for a bit, watch the rest of this Netflix show. I'm not even gonna tell you the show I'm watching because it's really not that good. I'm just bored and lonely. And then we're gonna have dessert, which is gonna be the Huel Protein Complete Meal Shake, again, the chocolate one. But I have a little twist to throw on it, so I'm excited for that, get excited for that, and I'll see you in a bit. Oh. And here we are, the last melon. This is the Huel Chocolate Ready to Drink Shake. Before I get into this, I forgot to go over the macros that we're at right now, so let's look at that real quick. So we are at a whopping 1,831 calories. That's pretty solid, pretty low calorie for the day, actually. And macros consisting of 138 carbs, 57 fat, and 187 protein. Yo, this is fire macros, actually. Like literally the perfect macros. All right, let's go ahead, add this in, the Huel chocolate, um, and let's see what that brings us up to for our total. So 400 calories, another 20. Oh baby, these macros, mmm. 180 grams of carbs, 76 grams of fat, 207 grams of protein. That's like literally perfect macros for me. A little low on carbs and a little high on fat, but honestly, that's great. And a total of 22, 31 calories. Obviously, depending on whether you use like more meat, less meat, any meat at all, your macros are gonna vary some, but I don't know, that's pretty fucking bang on. And I actually haven't had any like stomach problems, which I know I was pretty sure I was going to be having issues with that. Um, I've been pretty straight, a little bit bloated, but other than that, solid. So my idea for the chocolate is let's spice it up a little bit. Well, let's not spice it up, let's ice it up a little bit. I think I'm gonna throw some of this in blender, blend it up um, with some ice and see how it tastes. But first, I wanna give you just a quick taste test just without. All right, let's we'll see what we got. Sniff test. Okay, it, it honestly smells exactly like the vanilla, but with chocolate. I think I like the chocolate better than the vanilla, honestly, a little bit more. But it reminds me very much of a vegan protein. If you ever had a vegan protein, it's almost identical. In fact, let me look at the ingredients real quick. Yeah, I mean, the two first ingredients are water and pea protein. So there you go. It's pretty much a vegan protein with like a bunch of other stuff in there. It has, actually, to be exact, 27 minerals and vitamins, 20 grams of protein, solar reese carbs for energy, essential fatty acids, 8.2 grams of fiber, and phytonutrients, great stuff from plants. Only has five grams of sugar, it's gluten-free, of course, and soy-free, awesome. So whenever I blend it up, it turns into this right here. And I think I used a little bit too much ice because it's literally just a block of ice now. But spoon on deck, ready to go down. Looks pretty tasty, honestly. So this is a massive shake for 400 calories. Mmm. And it still has a pretty good flavor, even though it's a little watered down from the ice. It's cold as shit. Oh my God. Oh, fuck. Mm. Ah. Oh my God, I hate that. Oh. oh, all right, that was, that was a terrible brain freeze, wow. Um, oh wow, I don't know if I can continue. Ooh. Do I put it in the microwave? What do I do here? 
Oh man. Oh wow. Do you only get a brain freeze once? Like if I go back, I should be good now, right? All right, well, while I finish this and try not to get another horrible brain freeze, I gotta tell you, this was honestly <laughs> a pretty great day. Not at all what I was expecting whenever I started. I expected the meals to like be kind of routine and then would make my stomach hurt really bad and make me have to go to the bathroom a million times, but it didn't really happen. Now, would I recommend eating or drinking Huel stuff all day long? Probably not, but could you do it for a sustained period of time? Yeah, like easily, I could do it. Maybe a week? I don't want to, but I probably could if I had to. Overall, um, I am very impressed with Huel as a company. So like I said, I did the video on the hot and savory. This is my first time trying their pre-made drinks. These are pretty solid as well. What really surprised me was the freaking macros. If you structure it the way I structured it today, where you have a little extra protein, or like, like a meat source with your Huel, dude, that is, like those are spot on macros. This is probably gonna make me so like full and bloated, but I am gonna crush the whole thing because it tastes pretty damn good. All right, well, I mean, <laughs> that was a fun day. I'm sorry I didn't suffer if that's what you came here to see. Uh, I enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed the content. I hope you learned something. And if you did, can you please smash the thumbs up button for me? Gotta say at the beginning, gotta say at the end. Probably should have said in the middle too. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe. I got content lined up, coming out weekly for you guys. So if you're not subscribed, get subscribed now. Settle in. It's gonna be a long ride. Gonna be a great 2021. I think that's it. So I will be seeing you guys in the next one. Peace.